at some point in our lives and our experience here on earth, we will deal with anxiety, stress, and depression. And what I found is, of course, this is something that we cannot escape, but we can certainly use self-soothing techniques to help us navigate through life in a constructive way. From the book Buddhist Wisdom, on page 208, it reads, Eliminate every last desire, just as every diseased tree is removed from a forest and you will become enlightened. During my journey through healing from traumatic experiences, um, which stem mostly from relationships, and as I dug deeper, I realized that I was the creator of all these things, and I had a lot of experiences drawn to me so that I could unlock and get to the next level, so to speak. So during these times, I developed self-soothing practices that I'm going to share with you today. One of the first things that I always do if I'm feeling anxious or sad is I draw a nice warm bubble bath. Baths to me filled with bubbles and using amazing products really help me feel like I'm getting a nice warm hug from a loved one or from myself. I like to sit in awareness and that is key with self-soothing is being aware of the warmth of the water. Being aware or lack of awareness, lack of being present is oftentimes what triggers our feelings of anxiety or depression. And so really sitting in the moment, being aware of how we feel, being aware of the sense that we're using um, after that bath, using a body butter that really feels luxurious um, and then using scents like this oriental cherry from dossier and then the oud one though the oud fragrance this one felt more like more like home to me and so that's what i used it's an earthy fragrance and just smelled amazing it made me feel um, relaxed you can use things like essential oils um, lavender, chamomile, uh, those type of scents are really calming and soothing to the nervous system as well. A nice warm cup of lavender or chamomile tea will assist and aid in a restful night's sleep, which if you're dealing with anxiety and depression can be really hard to get a restful night's sleep, but sleep is actually something that will help as well, helps repair the body um, on so many levels. So following that bedtime bath soothing routine I just shared with you will help kind of get the body ready for a restful night's sleep. Yoga and breath work are very beneficial techniques for self-soothing as well. They help repair the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight um, system that keeps us in the state of anxiety and stress and depression. So really working to figure out which form of yoga works for you, just simple meditation, the practice is amazing as well. And last but not least, sitting in the feelings that we feel, journaling how we feel, and really asking ourselves how to move on from the difficult feelings. I find this really helps tap in to my higher self when I do this, and it allows me to detach from and not identify myself with, with those feelings. Not labeling myself as good or bad, just observing them. Also from the book, Buddhist Wisdom, on page 124, do your duty, show kindness to others and keep them from suffering. 
The first person we want to show kindness to is to ourselves. When we show kindness to ourselves, we can show kindness to others and make the world a better place. That starts with us. That starts with releasing and forgiving our past experiences. We are not our mistakes or our experiences. We are not our past. Allowing yourself to live fully, embracing these coping skills will really help you live your fullest and best life. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.